okay good day guys welcome to today's lesson on start pro connect edition today we are going to be analyzing a simply supported beam on start pro and e tabs and we are going to be explaining what mx my and mz is on start pro while what m2 m3 is on on e tabs okay so we have this simply supported six meter beam we've assigned the property then we assign the support as pin support then i've assigned the load as 10 kilo newton negative 10 kilo newton on my beam so we'll run the analysis so we're going to the analysis i know my maximum bending moment is wl square over 8 which is 10 times 6 square over 8 which will give me 45 so i can see it in my bending moment maximum bending moment i can say it's 45 kilo newton meter okay so why we chose mz this is the reason why we have this beam the section of the beam now uh, we have three local axes the y the z and the x okay so this is y this is z and this is x now once you press this command on it so okay right click you see labels click labels then you see beam orientation apply okay so now you can see the red the blue and the green the red is the local y axis the blue is the local x axis and the green is the local z axis so you can see that the bending moment is about the local z axis about the local z axis that is why it's bending this way if it was about the local y axis it would bend towards this direction then if it was the load was against the um local X direction there's going to twist but in this case that we have a moment there then it's going to twist but in this video we do not have any moment so there's not going to be any twisting moment on it so for my section I can see that any bending that goes about X axis leads to bending of the beam leads to torsional moment then any bending in Y will give us bending on the minor axis then any bending about Z will give us a normal bending moment. A normal bending moment. So what it really means is we have this beam. So the Z axis is most likely coming out like this and we are bending about. So that's why we have this bending. But if it's against Y, it's going to bend like this. It's going to bend in this plane, the minor axis plane. So similar to that on E tabs, let's go to E tabs tabs we have two and three so once it's going now once i click this i can easily see my m2 and m3 so this is m2 m3 and this is the torsion m23 so well, which is torsion so for now we have no torsion so once i click apply it shows no torsion so zero torsion m2 zero also because you can't see the bending moments in that particular plane so you can only see it in the m3 so apply and we have 45 so that's what it means so we've assumed this place as three and we've assumed this place as two so we are bending against three and we are not bending against two except i add the load in this direction that's when we are going to get the minor moment on this axis so please if you have any question please drop it in the comment section thank you very much for today's video